What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Code Lion channel. In this video, we are going to be starting the new how to code a Discord bot in 2020 using Discord.js. I had a series like this last year, but I feel like I need to create a brand new series uh, to improve on what we did last year. So if you're new here, this channel is all about coding Discord bots. It's not necessarily a beginner to advanced tutorials. It's just me coding different Discord bots that I get recommended in the comments section below. So before I get started, I do want to give my second channel a quick shout out. If you like the content that I provide here, make sure to check out my second channel where I play uh, a bunch of different games and have some fun. Uh, so there'll be a link in the description to my second channel, just so you guys know. So let's go ahead and get started with the first episode of this year's how to create a Discord bot using discord.js. To get started coding your own custom and Discord bots, there's actually about two things that you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need is Node.js. This is a JavaScript runtime that allows you to basically write JavaScript outside of the browser. This is the most popular JavaScript runtime, and that is what we're going to be using uh, in this tutorial series. So go to nodejs.org, there'll be a link in the description, and download the recommended for most users version, and it's going to be a very easy installation, and once you're done, you're good to go. The second thing you're going to need is some way to edit your code, and I and a lot of people recommend for everybody to use Visual Studio Code. It's basically just like an advanced version of Notepad that allows you to sort, customize, um, and kind of create your own projects in a more structured way. So make sure to download Visual Studio Code in the link in the description. All right, so let's actually go ahead and get started. So I'm actually going to create a folder inside of my desktop, and I would recommend just at least for this tutorial to create a custom folder inside your desktop. So I created the folder Discord bots to get started. Once you create your folder, open it up, and we are going to open up command prompt. So if you type CMD in your uh, search bar, you will kind of get this application called command prompt. If you are on a Mac OS, just search for terminal and that is how you open up your command prompt. So as you can see, command prompt kind of opens in a specific folder in your computer, which is gonna be users and then the currently user you're logged into. So for me, it's gonna be users or less. And what we wanna do is we wanna get this command prompt to basically function inside of this Discord bots folder that we created on the desktop. And the way we do this is by uh, typing CD desktop and that will kind of uh, move this command prompt into the following folder, which will be desktop. Uh, so desktop is actually a folder that is inside of the user Alesh. And then we're going to do that one more time. We're going to CD into Discord bots. And that will, again, bring this command prompt inside of this folder that we created here. So once we actually have command prompt inside of this folder, what we want to do is we want to run the command npm init. And this is going to start our node project. So there's going to be a bunch of questions that's going to ask you know, for you to type out the answers. So for example, uh, it's going to kind of ask you to type a package name. And that's kind of like the name of your project. So we're just going to keep this as Discord bots. So just press enter. And then it's going to ask you for the version of the project that you're working with. We're going to leave this at 1.0.0. And then you can type a description if you want. And then for the entry point, this is the main file that uh, basically node or NPM is going to start running your code from. Um, so usually it's index.js, but for this tutorial, we're going to change it to main.js. You can actually name this whatever you want. You can name this the, uh, the name of your whole project, whatever. Just make sure you kind of memorize what your entry point is, because that is the file we're going to have to create to start running our code. Then you can skip the test command. You can also skip the repository. We're not going to get into repositories just yet. And then we're going to skip keywords author if you want to type your name just so people know who coded your bots um, and then the license we're just going to keep it uh, isc as well and then just type yes to finish this off what this did is it created a json file inside of your folder so if we actually double click it you can actually open this with visual studio code or notepad 
And what this is, it's basically everything we just typed just in a JSON format, um, which is very easy instead of us having to type all of this on our own. Next, we actually have to open up this folder with the Visual Studio Code. And there's actually two ways that you can do it. The first way is gonna be very easy for Windows and Linux users, and that's just by typing code space dot. And once you install Visual Studio Code, it basically added this, this uh, path variable into a specific location where it allows you to open up Visual Studio Code through the command prompt. Um, if you're on uh, iOS, not iOS, sorry, if you're Mac OS, you actually have to add this, this environment variable, this path environment variable yourself. So you have to do a little bit more of, you know, research if you want to be able to just do code space dot and open up any folder in Visual Studio Code. So either you just type code space dot if you're Windows or Linux, and that'll actually open up the Visual Studio Code, or just open up Visual Studio Code by searching on it, and then you can click on file and then open folder and then you can just search for the folder that you have which we had discord bots here on our desktop and we can just select folder and that'll pretty much do the same thing all right so as you can see it opened up the folder this exact same folder that we have here it opened it up in visual studio code and you can see we have our json file here very good now we're actually going to go back into our command prompt and we're going to install discord.js which is going to be uh, basically our um, framework you can call it that we're going to be using to communicate with the discord servers so we're going to do the command of npm install discord.js and that is going to install all of the modules that we need to be able to uh, code our discord bot all right we're going to go back into studio visual code and we are going to create our main file as right here as we said we're going to create main.js if you didn't change it it's going to be index.js uh, so we're going to go here into uh, our discord bot and we're going to create a new file and we're going to name this main.js and this is the main file that, that we're going to be working with as we create a discord bot so the first thing we're going to need is we're going to create a constant that will require discord.js so we can start using discord.js node modules uh, inside of this file so we're going to do const we're gonna name this discord and it's going to require discord uh, so first we're going to do the single quotations and then discord.js all right so that is how we are going to require discord.js and that's how we get the constant discord to communicate with all of our node modules the second thing is we're actually going to create our own bots so it's an instance well not really an instance but we're basically just creating a new client using discord.js uh, so we're going to do this const and we can either name this client or bot. Uh, it just kind of depends on what you like we're going to name it clients because that's what most people do so const client equals new discord dot client um, and we open up in parentheses and then a semicolon at the end. So this right here is our own Discord bots that we're creating and we're creating it as a client. And then actually the final thing we do is we are going to log in into our Discord bot. And how we do this is there's actually one more thing you guys are gonna have to do and that is go into discord.com slash developers um, and there'll be a link in the description to that as well. And you actually have to create your own application through the developer portal on Discord. Um, so all you do is you come here, you log into your Discord account, you create a new application, you name it, and then you create it. As you can see, we actually already have one right here. And it's gonna give you all of this information. Um, so it gives you your client ID, which we're going to need later on. And then over here in settings, we can go down into the bot and basically convert this application into a bot. So make sure you convert it into a bot. And once you convert it into a bot, it's actually going to give you something called a token. And a token is basically a password that allows some kind of application that we're coding, as you can see our little bot over here, to communicate with this application here on the Discord developers portal. Um, so if you want to add this application into your own discord um, You know server all you have to do is I'm actually gonna have a link in the description discord bot permissions and it's gonna be discord api.com 
this is a permissions calculator and what we're going to do is we are going to basically give our bot all of the permissions to basically do whatever it needs to do so if you want to create a specific bot that would just be able to you know manage roles uh, then all you want to do is just click on manage roles but since we're adding a bot or kind of creating a bot that will be allowed to do anything and everything on the server we're just going to be adding all of the permissions next we actually have to get our client id and insert it here so let's go back into our developer portal and go into the general information and this is our client id so let's just copy it and let's paste it right here this will actually give us a link and you can pretty much give this link to anybody and all it's going to do is basically it's going to basically allow you to add your bot to a discord server so you just said add a bot to click on the discord server that you are you know able to add a bot into so you can't just add a bot to any server you have to have permissions to be able to add a bot um, and then just click add bot continue um, so if we want to add this into just do this random uh, server that i have here continue uh, it's going to give you all of the permissions that the bot has and all you do is you click this button and you will have your bot added to your server. I actually already created a brand new server for this tutorial series and I already added my bots in there. All right, so let's go back into the developer portal, go to bots and we are going to copy our token. Again, the token is the password to get into this application. So basically don't give this token to anybody because they're gonna be able to log into your own bot and be able to customize it do a bunch of bad stuff uh, to your bots. So make sure you keep this token um, you know, hidden and not give it to anybody else. Now I'm gonna have to probably regenerate this token every tutorial because I don't wanna give you guys uh, my token away. So we're gonna go back into Visual Studio Code and we're gonna log into our application, our bots, um, by doing clients.login and we're gonna do single quotations and then paste our token in there. So basically this is logging in or basically giving access to this application uh, that we have here. All right, um, one quick thing I do wanna say, make sure you keep this at the very end of your file. So that has to be the last line in your file. So that basically it, if we actually run this, um, the bot will come online. It won't really say anything or do anything because we haven't you know, programmed anything. Uh, but one more thing for this tutorial is we're gonna do clients that once. And inside here, we're gonna do ready, um, which will be our event. And then we're gonna do an arrow function. This is a little bit more advanced, but it's basically just a function that we're passing through here. So we're doing arrow function. Um, and then in here, we are going to just console.log and we're gonna log i um, saying that uh, what this bot name is code line. So code line is online. And this will tell the console that we have officially gotten our bot to come online. So to turn on your bots, there's actually two ways you can do it. The first way is you come into command prompt and you type node space dot. Now for a lot of you, again, the space dot commands probably did not get installed. Uh, so you're gonna have to go and search for a way to get that path environment variable into the location so you can be able to do all of these commands. Uh, but for most of you, if you're running Windows or Linux, this should be already installed for you. So all you do is you do node space dot, make sure you're inside of the folder that you created uh, and you have all your files in and then you press enter and you will see that it will say code line is online. And if we go into our Discord server, you can see that code line is no longer offline, but it is online. All right, so if you don't have access to node space dot, all we're gonna do, uh, by the way, to exit the uh, your, your bot to get it offline, all you have to do is control C, uh, and that will kind of get out of the running the bot. Um, but if you can't do no space dot, all you have to do is do npm and then the file name. So for us it would be main.js. And that'll basically do the same thing. Oh, sorry, is it node main.js? I don't think it's node main.js. Oh, it is, sorry, sorry guys. It's not npm main.js, it's node and then space and then the name of your file. So main.js. Uh, so you either can do node space dot or node space the name of your file dot js and that will basically turn the bot on 
as well. With that being said, I think this is a very good ending point for this video. Next video, we're going to get started creating custom commands so players on your Discord server can start communicating with this bot and the bot giving out some special commands, some special messages, or starting to do some cool and crazy events on your Discord server. Once again, if you want to subscribe to my second channel, there'll be a link in the description. Make sure to check it out at least. And yeah, guys, that will conclude this video. With that being said, I will see you guys later on my next video. Peace.